Quilts of Valor volunteers make and give quilts compassionately, from their hearts, with no thought of thanks or reply. Sometimes, however, a recipient takes the time to say what receiving a Quilt of Valor means. Both my knees were shot out, my tibia was broken, I have um, four bullets in my upper arm, and I've got, I got shot toward the back of my head. When I look at my quilt, uh, it reminds me of a lot of things that I had done. Um, it reminds me of a lot of things that people have done. I do get a sense of pride when I, when I look at it. It was a pretty intense combat situation, again, in the Hobo Woods, and I was on the outside of a tank shooting a machine gun, and, and uh, I got hit by an RPG and instantly lost my left leg and my right hand, and uh, also got shrapnel in both eyes. The quilt sometimes, when I walk by the guest room, or uh, I'm in the guest room, it, it winks at me, and uh, I'll go over and just lay down on it, and uh, it just feels good. And, and, it's just an, an example of someone's gratitude um, for, what it, for what I've been through in the service. I can't help but see the quilt and, and, and um, you know, automatically kind of think of, of Afghanistan. You know, I, I am extremely proud of what I did overseas. I appreciate this quilt probably more than I appreciate, you know, any metal that could have pinned on my chest, you know, uh, because you know, this just, this was given to me by a civilian. Um, it was, you know, for my service. And I held back the tears uh, when I did receive it. Uh, in fact, I did shed some tears. Uh, it, it felt very good that Vietnam veterans was finally recognized uh, as a, a serviceman in the fight of the war we had. I consider the people that created the quilt part of my family now. I mean, they made this quilt for us, the veterans, and the way I see it is that they're, they're my sisters in arms. It was an honor. It, it was something I didn't, ex I didn't expect. And uh, matter of fact, with some of the guys that I know that went through some of the worst things than I did. I felt they deserved it. The people that deserved probably the quilts are not here anymore, <laughs> or they never came home. I think it's actually a site of comfort. You know, it's, if, if we didn't get appreciated when we came home, this is appreciation. But uh, I can't say how special it is. It's, it's, it's the only thing that's been given to me since I've been home. There was a reassuring quality to having something made for me that, uh, that touched me very deeply. I enjoy showing it to them and they're going to look at it whether they like it or not. So it, that's, where, that's where it is. Everybody can see it and I'm real proud of it. First place, I've never had anything like this, so uh, I take a lot of pride in it, and uh, I just feel bad about the other guys. They didn't get one. That's the only thing. National service is not the household term it once was in a wartime America. But anyone can honor a combat veteran with a healing quilt of valor. If you're a quilter already, pull some fabric from your stash and get started. If you're not a quilter, find one to take you under their wings and help you honor an American touched by war. <laughs>